Governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru El Rufai, has been accused of wanting to set Nigeria on fire. With his utterances, the chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in Play 2 State, Samuel Kwamko, made the accusation after a video in which El Rufai allegedly stated that he deceived Christians during the course of the electioneering campaigns that the APC Muslim Muslim ticket was not for religious dominance, when in actual fact the tickets, both nationally, and at the state level, where for Islamic dominance. In the video, which has since gone viral, Arrow 5 is reported to have also said that the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu had silenced the Christian Association of Nigeria, adding that he will sustain an Islamic-dominated government for 20 years and unending, not only in Kaduna State, but in Nigeria at large. Kwamko, who is also a former national director of the Christian Association of Nigeria, while reacting to El Rufai's comments, expressed disappointment at his classification of citizens of his state as them versus us, which to him meant that the former governor cannot be exonerated from the wanton killings, demolition of houses, and places of worship of Christians in Kaduna. Well, let's take a listen to a short clip of that video before we come back for a discussion. Did the Tarandangi in the Akai? Did the Adini the Akai and Pinidishi? Allah Yaba Asuaju Nasara Abinda Mukasa Mukaya Kaduna Yenza Anisha Kasaga Bada Bab when Makari Chi de Zezu Echi Ze Pito Echi Shi. Zai yi siyasa na kiristanci ya ci zabe fita obi yayi ga ga inda yake an yi maganin wannan dole suke shiru tun da asiyaji ya ci zabe kan sit to da haka ne za a samu zaman lafiya a kasar nan to shi ma ka ga aka sake aka kara aka kara sai komi saya Wallahi abinda muka yi kenan kuma ni da wasu daga cikin mu a ganin mu mun gama aikin Karida this has caused a huge debate on our social media as well but let me take a tweet before I take your comment as uh, this person wrote it is really disappointing for El Rufai to brag about religion in a country that is trying to heal what is the point of the speech what point is he trying to prove in an election that was clearly questionable the APC, tell your man not to sow seed of discord in this country. Over to you. Ah, this is a tough one for me. I schooled in Kaduna, went to Sultan Belu Primary School. I went to FGC Kano. Uh, a number of my friends will refer to me as uh, Dangarewa, Dangkano, and things like that. I speak Hausa. And I didn't know I, that. Yes, I speak Hausa. I went to school in Kano. In Kano. My school was just next to uh, Sirkin Zazao's uh, palace, Sultan Belu Primary School. And when I look at this, when I listen to that tape, I am just praying, please God, let Mal and Nasiru come out and say, no, this was doctored, that this is not him, this is not true. Yeah, I waited two days because to take the I've story. I've been waiting been, for that to happen, uh, but it hasn't happened. And I will reach out to him at some point over the next day or two, because I've known Nasiru Rufai from the days when I was living in England, I came back in 2011, and I still say I know him fairly well. This is the same man that has a Yoruba man as a spokesperson, Muwa Adekaye. This is the same man that has a lot of friends in Lagos, all over the country. He has a lot of friends who are Igbo, who are Hausa, who are Christians, who are Muslims. This man that I'm seeing in this video, I honestly don't recognize. I don't recognize, I don't recognize this person. I don't know what has happened. I don't know the reason why he will speak in this way or say this kind of thing. I am hoping that this is not a man who has been extremely pretentious, who has been behaving in a way that made everybody believe that um, he's a different kind of person. So this is not someone that I honestly recognize. It's condemnable. Everything he has said in this video is condemnable. And I'm hoping he will still come out and say he, he, it was misinterpreted or that's not what he said. 
But if this is what he has said, this is condemnable, is despicable, is not acceptable for anybody in public office, anybody outside of public office, no matter what you do, you cannot say things like this and be taken seriously as somebody who has been involved in so many things that have shaped the future of Nigeria and somebody who has a level of influence and capacity to really shape the future of this nation. This is not acceptable behavior. These are not the kind of words that you would expect from someone like him. And it has to be condemned in, at, by everyone. It has to be condemned. And I hope that he will come out and take those words back and say, he's sorry. He didn't mean to say this. He has to take those words back. All right, Dr. Abate, a quick word from you before I take the final. Well, quickly, I mean, religion has always been used as a divisive factor, exploited by the leadership elite in Nigeria uh, to divide the people. And in this particular case, we've just seen another instance in which you know, a political figure, a leadership figure, uh, is uh, using religion. He was speaking to a group of imams, and he was thanking them for the help that they have provided, specifically in Cardinal State, for ensuring a Muslim-Muslim ticket, and also at the national level in ensuring a Muslim-Muslim ticket. And he got carried away and got to the extent of saying that, look, a Muslim-Muslim leadership will be imposed, both in Cardinal State and also at the national level in Nigeria, for the next 20 years. That in itself is insensitive, is provocative. Uh, it doesn't show enough intelligence, even if, uh, you know, Nasir Rufai says he's a very intelligent man and that he's going back to school to acquire more knowledge. Well, of what use is knowledge? If it is not uh, applied with wisdom, with sensitivity. Absolutely. You know, I think, you know, what he has done here is very disappointing. Uh, given the opportunities that this same country has given him, Absolutely. given the kind of exposure uh, that we see on his, uh, on his uh, resume, you know, to now descend to the lab, uh, level of, uh, you know, saying, uh, you know, uh, we, we Muslim, Muslim ticket, uh, those Christians, you know, those playing Manichaean politics, a binary uh, uh, Manichaean approach uh, to politics, which I consider very primitive and uh, retrogressive. And I hope that it will come around later yes. to say that perhaps this is an artificial intelligence-induced robotic representation <laughs> of whatever it was that he said. But if he doesn't take it back, well, you know, many people will be uh, disappointed, disappointed. Absolutely. that uh, this, is, uh, this is the situation. Like his good friend here, Coyote.